In previous episodes, I've talked about the advantages of using a virtual manager and virtualization. And I have shown how to download and install Oracle VM VirtualBox and how to set up your preferences. So today I continue to show you how to install an operating system. I've selected Debian. I have had very good experience with Debian and um, it's a Linux package. I would like to download the net installer and I'm going to save it. This is going to take a little while so I will wait for it to download. I'm going to put the system on pause. It has finished downloading and starting a new virtual machine within the VM virtual box manager is extremely easy. All you do is you hit new and then a wizard comes and helps you. So Debian 2 because I've already done a Debian. I recorded that but it didn't end up being so good so I'm repeating it. Since I have a lot of RAM, I have 16 gigs, I normally give every operating system at least 2 gigs. I create a new hard disk in this case and I do a VDI virtual disk image there are and this is the important thing if you do it dynamically allocated it may be a little bit slower but it uses only whatever amount of physical disk space as it needs so my current Debian uh, is using less than 6 gigs even though it has a virtual space of 64 and again I'm going to give it 64 gigabytes of virtual disk space and I create it. Okay, next you go to, into the settings and you can change things like the order and things like that. I don't need that to change anything there. I typically give it max amount of video memory. In the storage I will place in the DVD drive the virtual disk that I just downloaded and there is if you notice there is two that are here one is one that I downloaded a few days ago. Today, this is the one. It says AMD 64i386. I'm just curious. I've never actually used this one, so I'm going to use it. And audio is okay. Network, I do want it to be attached to my network. I don't have anything to do with the so I will do the shared folders later on in a different video. And there we go. We're ready. We turn it on. And I say install. I will afterwards try a 64 bit install. I just don't know whether this hardware allows the 64-bit install. And it's getting all its components. Debian 2 is the name of this machine. Domain name. I'm giving it a very simple root password because this is in a virtual machine
in a machine in my house. And I have the same password for the root user and myself since I'm the only person. I live in Los Angeles, which is Pacific time. I will use the entire disk. Okay. All files in one partition recommended for new users. I just accept it. And go ahead. Do the changes to the disk. And it's doing its thing to the disk, which is a virtual disk. Hence, it's not actually doing any potential damage or anything to my actual physical disk. One of the reasons I like Debian is the fact that it comes with Apache and the whole LAMP system that's Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP installed. It's very good for development in my experience. I want the graphical desktop environment web server I do want file server I don't need SQL I do need and that's it One advantage of using net install versus a DVD install or anything like that is that you only download the packages, the files that you actually need. You don't download anything else. So I did not select DNS. So presumably none of the DNS or mail server uh, packages got downloaded, whereas I did select um, the web server, so Apache did get downloaded, and MySQL, same thing, because I uh, selected SQL. So that's a good advantage, and also because it is downloading the packages today, I am at this instance getting the latest official packages. Okay, it's installing the Grub boot loader in the master record. Yes! Okay, it's rebooting my system and it has two versions the recovery mode which is equivalent to the windows safe mode after uh, i don't know how many seconds it automatically selects the top one which is a normal boot and there it is let's move it more central and we are running And so I select me and put in my password to log in. We first make sure we're connected to internet. Lo and behold, we are. And what I would like to show is that Apache is working fine and you see I have all sorts of different applications available to me um, in a really easy way I have normal open office here and my system tools ok 
see and in a later videos I will show you how to actually use Debian Thank you.